Hey everyone, Phil from 3DP UK Tech Channel here. Today's unboxing and review is on the Saturn 4 Ultra 16K resin printer from Elegoo. Now, this is the upgraded version from the 12K model that recently hit the scene, but with some notable changes. So let's go through this unboxing quickly and just see what we get when delivered. So first out of the box was the power cable and the instructions manual. And I always find that with Elegoo, they package their products really, really well. So as you can see, we've got the styrofoam, we've got the plastic covering. So we'll just quickly skip through that bit. Um, and then we'll go on to the next steps of what you receive within the actual printer itself. So once you remove the plastic covering, um, the first item out is the toolbox. So let's take a look at what we have inside of that. So what we have inside of the toolbox is some tools, screws, bolts, etc. And a pair of some gloves, which is always good to see. We have the metal scraper. We also have the power brick to go with the cable. And we have some filters for the resin and a plastic scraper and some face masks and not forgetting the USB with some models on there, hopefully. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the build plate. As you can see, it has the new winged handle design. So that's an upgrade from the 12K model. Um, also covered over with um, a plastic cover. So we're going to remove that. And then you will notice that the build plate also has that laser etching just to help with um, the adhesion of your print. Um, I always find that this does improve it. So once again, the wing designed and the hands-free leveling as well. So, okay, so what we wanna do is lock the build plate in place with the locking system. Next, you'll see in a box, a drip tray. This is specifically for when you're removing your prints or adding some resin to the vat. The next thing you'll need to do is remove the vat from the printer. It comes locked into place with two bolts. These bolts aren't needed. They supply two more in the actual um, toolbox. So just make sure you keep those. And the good thing is they are replaceable as well. So they are independent to the VAT, which is always good to see. Okay, so taking a look at the VAT itself, you see there's two spouts on either side. You also have the minimum and maximum line. Um, I will go into a bit more detail with what's actually um, really good about this particular VAT and obviously the key feature of the change for the 16K model. So let's remove the um, covering from the bottom. And then, like I say, I will go into a bit more details as to what this actually does and what the improvements are. But like I said earlier, you have those two bolts um, with the handles. These are the ones that actually connect to the um, printer itself. Once again, on the um, actual screen, you will notice a screen protector with some warning information. Please read that if you need to. Um, it's always good to actually do that. There are some screen protectors that you can use on this printer, so it might be worth having that in hand before you start printing. But I will just do the testing based on what I have been supplied. So with the um, VAT in place, we are gonna now add the two lock-in rings. At the back, you'll notice a camera, but once again, we'll go into a bit more detail about that. Okay, so at the back, you will notice a camera. It does come with a rubber cover. Um, I would have preferred to have seen that as like a actually connected to that so you don't lose that individual item. But this is for AI detection and time lapsing. So let's take a quick look over the machine itself. Okay, so let's take a look at the new 16K model. Much like the 12K model, this has the same type of this physical design features, but with some really big notable changes to the way that it works itself. So once again, it has the tilt release technology, smart auto leveling, has smart sensors, so it detects when there is a resin shortage or if there's overfill, which I will show a bit later on in the video that this actually was tested and worked very well. Also has a foreign object detection alert, so if there's any previous prints or anything that shouldn't be in there, it should detect that. Um, it has the AI camera detection, real-time monitoring, so you can do your time-lapsing actually within the printer itself. Also embedded Wi-Fi, so no more dongles on the side. Once again, this is the 16K LCD screen. It has high temperature protection, power loss recovery, over-the-air firmware upgrades, which once again I will show because this actually 
was part of the update in my review has a resin tank with built-in heater so we're going to go in for a bit more detail because this is one of the major design improvements for the 16k model has the vertical captive uh, touchscreen once again and it's a fresnel colomitin light source printer okay so opening up the lid let's take a look inside and what new features we have for this particular 16k model so taking a look over the build plate as it stands so it's locked into place but once again the improvements are the winged handle designs it may seem like a very small modification but as you will know from the previous model it was very difficult to handle and sometimes could potentially cause some mishap so it's a, it's a small design improvement but a design improvement nonetheless okay so we're going to lock the build plate in place with the easy release and lock design that they've got on this and then we're going to take over a look at some of the other features on this printer okay so with this camera um you'll be able to detect uh empty build plates warping etc and also real-time monitoring and time lapse opportunities but it also has the built-in lighting as well to improve that quality of the video so has the lead screw and the dual linear rails so the stability of the printer is always going to be at paramount so now we want to take a look over the actual vat itself and some of the real improvements that they have made to make this a top quality printer i also like the fact that it has the dual um, pouring spouts as well so let's unlock this vat now and take a closer look at what the design features have been improved with and we'll go over what this actually entails okay so with the 16k model it will come with the heated vat we'll go into some of the design features of this so it has smart temperature sensing it also has a preheat mode it's compatible with all types of resin it has auto heating but as you can see on the screen now the two contact points and on the bottom of the vat it has the two uh, nodules that fit into that and creates the link to heat up the vat it has auto heating so the the built-in heater will warm up the resin in the tank with the build plate moving up and down in the resin to agitate to maintain that steady um, temperature and once it hits a specific temperature which is 25 degrees it will just start printing so you do not need to stand there and watch and quit uh, keep checking the temperature which i think is one of the biggest design improvements of this model so once again this model is the um, tilt release technology version no acf on this so no no need for fast resin either um, as you all know the drawbacks of acf is prone to damage poor light etc um, and vertical lines on your model so we're going to reconnect up the vat now and go on to the next uh, part of the video okay so taking a look at what came in the box so you'll see the drip tray the 16k elegu saturn ultra the heated resin vat um, the information manual um, metal scraper plastic scraper face masks uh, gloves and filters and some of the tools that come with it and a usb key and not forgetting the plugs as well so let's go on to the next steps now which is the actual setting up of the machine um, so right now we're connecting up the power cable you'll notice uh, the elegu sign boots up and then we go on to the next step so select your language there's lots to choose from then give the um, printer a device name so i'm going to call it elegu 16k for argument's sake and then it will run through a device self-test so this just basically checks that everything on the printer is running as intended so now we're going to go through some of the ui uh, settings and see what's available to us okay so let's take a look at the screen so right now we're connected to wi-fi the app setting tab um, you can restore to factory settings format uh, the files etc and calibrate and uh, change the different uh, temperature settings so next one is the accessibility features so you have the light in for the time lapse in um, also the sound if you want to turn off the sound you can do so you have the tank heating so you can have that so that's the preheat function as well on the right hand side so you can activate both of those you don't have to have them on if the temperatures of 
um, adequate levels which obviously is the major define, uh, defining feature of this um, particular model. So now a quick word from today's video sponsor, PCBWay.com. PCBWay are a PCB board manufacturer. As you can see from their website, they have uh, New Year's deals at the moment, so lots of money can be saved if you have any projects that you want to carry out. Um, they have lots of competitions always going on, um, notably the one I've just shown. Um, but most notably, they are for PCB board prototyping, FPC rigid flex, advanced PCB. Um, they also do 3D printing and CNC machining. So check out PCBWay.com, today's video sponsor. Okay, so we'll reinstall the VAT and then just take a look at the screen itself again. So here is the USB key. So we're going to use that for printing, but let's just take a look at some of the other features. So we've got print mode, so you can do from standard to high speed, but we're going to stick to standard. You also have the over the air uh, firmware upgrade. We'll just quickly check, but there doesn't seem to be any upgrades. And then we're just, um, you can also use USB to upgrade if there is um, no other options. Gives you some information for servicing. Okay, so taking a look at some other settings, we want to click on tools. So click in manual so you can actually move the build plate up and down. You've got different speeds, etc. And you can return to home as you can see from the screen now. Um, you've got 0 0.1, 1 millimeter, 10 millimeter, and 50 millimeters. That's basically just how um fast and how far the build plate can go so you have return to home so if you click on that it will move the build plate back into position okay so now we want to check that the screen is working as intended and you've got different tests so the first test will be the elegu sign so as you can see that's come up perfectly okay and then the next one will be like a checkered flag and that's and it's just a good way to check that all of your screen is working as intended and then it's just a full screen um, one color all the way across so everything seems good so one of the features we have is tank cleaning so that's good to clean the, the vat itself Emer emergency stop switch um, device self-test which does before every startup of the machine and then you have the resin print calibration. So if you wanted to calibrate a new resin that you have, there are lots of videos out there. I'm not gonna cover that in this particular video, but basically you can put a number of models on the build plate and uh, check which would be the best exposure time for that, which I think is a brilliant um, design feature. So going back, um, we're gonna check to see what other functions we have. So we have device info. So this is just gonna give you all the information about the machine. Okay, so what we're going to do now is grab the USB key that come with the printer and see what model's on there. So what you're going to need to do is basically go to the side of the printer. I'm still not 100% certain why they use that, especially if you have a print farm. It's an additional item that hangs out the side. And we're just going to check what's on the actual USB and see what we can print um, as our first print of the day. So on the USB, you will find the Elegoo obligatory Rook model, and we're gonna use that today to print as our first model. It's a good starting point, especially if you're new to resin printing, definitely use this. And um, you basically select the model on the USB, and then what we're gonna to need to do now is add in the resin. So with this, I'm gonna be using the ABS-like resin 3.0 Pro by Elegoo. Um, it's a good idea to use the drip tray around the edges, but for this purpose, I'm not going to do that. One thing I will add is at current temperature in the studio right now, we're looking at about four degrees. So as you can see from the resin, it's very thick. Ordinarily, if I was printing with this type of material uh, with this thickness, we wouldn't be able to print. It would just fail or it just wouldn't work at all. Now, this is where we will put the heated resin um, that into action so what we're going to do now is we're going to start the print and uh, check out what actually comes up on the screen okay so now the the build plate is lowering into position it's basically done its calibration at the beginning which is basically move the vat forward and then lowers the build plate we're just going to double check everything is ready to go. Going to take off the cover for the AI detection just to ensure that that is functioning as well. 
So now you will notice that the temperature of the actual resin is come up with a notification on the screen. So what we're going to do is come in a bit closer so that you can actually see what it says. So on the screen, it's giving me a temperature at the moment of eight degrees and my optimal temperature, it needs to be around about 30. So what that is now doing is heating the resin vat around the edges and you'll notice that the build plate is moving up and down and that is where it's agitating. Obviously, what we don't want to do is warm around the edge of the vat um, and it's not evenly distributed. So this screen actually updates you as to where we are. And once this completes and it hits the optimal temperature, as you can see, we have now hit 26 degrees. Now it's taken approximately three or four minutes to get to that stage. Um, like I say, the studio is very, very cold. Um, and once that starts, the actual print goes into um, print mode. And I think this is an absolutely amazing design feature. As you uh, can see, it's got the tilt technology, so it pulls the print away from the vat itself. So as you can see, we have now completed the rook, and this took about two hours. So for cleaning purposes, we're going to use the uh, plastic tray and just wipe up any residue that spills. And this model has come out almost perfect um, using the ABS 3.0 Pro uh, resin from Elegoo. And from what I can see, this print has come out. All the features are there. There's no issues with the print. The logo is visible. But what we're going to do now is do some prints um, using their slicer, which is the satellite. There's some functions that aren't available, but as an early indicator, this, this particular slicer was really easy to use, very responsive. So I chose a model from STL Flix. So the model we're printing is a Jackal General. Um, it also was pre-supported, so but I did go through some of those features on that and it worked perfectly. As you can see, the model is now complete after four and a half hours of printing. This is in the standard speed mode. I didn't want to push the machine too much on the first few prints. As you can see, it looks perfect. Now using the Chi2 Box Basic, I am now slicing another model. Okay, so what we're seeing now is some small time lapses, and this was all from the inbuilt camera. With the light, it's enabled us to be able to visually see what's going on, and it's very clear. These are all accessed through the Cheetah Box slicer. Unfortunately, the Elegoo slicer isn't enabled for time lapsing at the moment, and hopefully, they should sort that out soon. All these prints were carried out in very low temperatures in my studio of around about one degree to five degrees. And ordinarily this would stop me from printing in these low temperatures. But with the heated vat, this has enabled me to continue printing and bringing you this review. On average, they were hitting 25 degrees with the heated vat. And that's how we've managed to bring you these amazing prints. The features for this have been nothing short of amazing. The heated vat, the AI detection, the tilt um, function, and, and as you can see from these prints in front of us now, the quality has been really, really great. I did use the Elegoo ABS 3.0 Pro resin for this, and as you can see, the details are, are, are absolutely stunning. I must add that I am not skilled in the resin printing world i tend to stick to fdm but as you can see this printer has allowed a novice like myself to print some really really great um models like this uh general jackal from stl flicks um i will leave links to all of the designers for these models in the description and once again thank you to elegu for sending me this to review and this was the saturn 4 ultra 16k resin printer with heated vat and ai detection don't forget to like and subscribe i'm phil from 3dp uk tech channel and thanks to pcb way for sponsoring today's video take care everyone